So here I have a freshly hard-boiled egg. You probably recognize this smell. It's kind of almost smells like a rotting egg when you first hard-boil an egg. What you're smelling is sulfur. See, eggs are made up of protein, or there's a lot of proteins in this egg, and proteins are made up of amino acids. Some amino acids, cysteine, has sulfur in it. So when you heat this egg, the sulfur compounds actually decompose, so they call denature the proteins, and they'll actually decompose to hydrogen sulfide or other sulfur-containing gases. And when you put a piece of <laughs> collector's edition American Prospector silver coin in with this recently hard-boiled eggs with those sulfur compounds, there's actually a chemical reaction. And you can actually watch it occur. It doesn't take very long if you have a freshly boiled egg and it'll start to tarnish. If you've ever worked in the food industry you've probably seen this that silverware when you put it with eggs and other sulfur containing compounds will tarnish very easily. And if you've ever been given the task of cleaning your grandmother's or mother's or your own silverware it's not too much fun to clean when you have the old-fashioned elbow grease involved, but I'm going to show you how to clean silver using chemistry. So first let's keep watching and do you see it starting to tarnish? It's going to take about two or three. It's already forming from this Ziploc bag of freshly boiled egg and piece of silver. So now what I'm going to do is make an electrolyte solution with hot water. I just took some warm water. I can touch it. It's okay, but it's, it's pretty, it's kind of warm. I just heated it up on the stove, and some baking soda. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate. And now I'm going to stir with the water to make an electrolyte solution. This just means that it will conduct electricity. So I don't want to stick my hair dryer into this solution of electrolyte and water. It conducts electricity because sodium bicarbonate is an ionic compound. Remember you've got the sodium cation and bicarbonate anion. So again, I'm going to make a little more. Just put this in here. So now I've got this solution with a piece of regular old aluminum foil. I could make my solution in one of these pie pans you just need aluminum foil, water, and an electrolyte. So either way, what we're going to do, now that you've formed your electrolyte solution with your more active aluminum metal, is I'm going to take this tarnished silver so we can see there's definitely a difference in the color. This silver coin has been tarnished by the egg sulfur, and this silver is just an, a standard so we can see the difference in the color. So now what I'm going to do is place this into the solution and you can actually watch it change. Do you see that? It's actually polishing itself. So what's happening? <laughs> That's a good question. The silver ions that were formed with from the egg reaction, so you form silver sulfide, those silver ions are reduced back to the silver metal at the expense of the aluminum foil. The aluminum metal goes back to aluminum ions and the silver ions go back to the silver solid. So remember ions are just atoms that have either lost or gained electrons.